Hey, it's Joe Lines from The Automator, and uh, welcome to my new home, office. Uh, finally made my move, and I have internet access. Crazy, I know. It only took a month to get internet. Uh, anyway, I wanted to record a video here demonstrating a script I wrote when I was making my Udemy courses. And uh, I'm let me demonstrate. Let me uh, show you the desktop here. So this, and of course, you're getting the, the infinite loop with... Uh, OBS. OBS is what I use to record. It's a free program. It's really great. It's amazing. It does a lot of stuff uh, for recording video and, and your desktop and things. And what I didn't want to do was I didn't, in my taskbar, I didn't want to have you know, the OBS listed, nor did I want this folder, which is where the files are being saved to. Uh, in OBS, I've told it save it here. And, it, and I have a script that when I launch OBS, it also launches this because it's not automatic and I hate having to navigate to it. So I just have like like having the, the hotkey that I launch opens both. Um, but I wanted to leave this open, but I didn't want them both listed here, right? All I wanted was studio basically left in here. Uh, and I uh, these, when I'm recording, I would put them on the other screens. However, I wanted to remove them from the taskbar. So this is a great thing for auto hotkey, right? So anything, if I'm doing it more than once, uh, generally I will put it into a function. And so... Here, that's what I've done, and I've created a function. I'm passing it. Just the parameter is the title of the active window. Of oh, sorry, the the window I want to hide. In this first case, now what I do want to point out was for the entire script, I've said, hey, set the title match mode to two, which is not the default. I think one might be the default. One is an exact match, if I remember right. Two says, hey, if you match anywhere in there, it's kind of like a fuzzy match, right? Uh, if you find OBS space twenty five anywhere in the title you know, then accept it and use it. So that's the first time through. It's going to use this hide window function. If you don't know functions, they are the quickest, easiest way for you to level up your programming. Um, I got several videos, like probably about eight, walking you through how to use functions. I think it's in my intro to auto hotkey course, maybe the inter intermediate course. I can't remember which one. But, um, you know, the first time through, it passes OBS to here. Uh, it will then activate that window, and then it's going to wait for that window to be active. And then I'm um, just going to detect hidden windows on uh, and then hide it and then set this. I think this is setting it to, I mean, this is where it's actually doing something. I don't know what the wind show is for, honestly. Um, I borrowed the the general thing from this from an uh, auto hockey post in the forum. But um, this, uh, this one, I think, is this style is setting it to where it's not going to be visible if I remember right. But I, I could be wrong on that. But I know it works, right? And, and again, I'm not the best program in the world, but my stuff works. So... Uh, when I run this, you're going to see both of these because the first time through is going to hide this one. The second time through, after it's done, it jumps back up here, starts here, and then looks for this, which happens to be... Let me show you how I got these. So I have a hotkey if I hit the apps key in A. Of course, you'd have to build that. but Or you can come down here to any auto hotkey script, right click, and as long as it hasn't hidden the special things, you can say Windows Spy and that'll launch the same program. Uh, when it's active, like if I click here, you'll see it updates to this title, right? And if we activate the OBS, now we have this long OBS 25.0.08, blah, 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 right? And it would have to match that exact thing. And um, you know what? I, I actually did, if I remember right, it had it happen once where this updated and it stopped working. And so I wanted to add this to say set match mode, to, uh, title match mode to equal to two. So that way it's a fuzzy match. And anything that says, I probably could get away with anything that says OBS, uh, but OBS 25, you know, maybe I'll change it later uh, where it's a little more, maybe it's just OBS 2, and that way when it upgrades to 26, it's okay. Uh, and this one, because in here, when we click it, you'll see this is the, the full title, right? And so that's why I have both, of, that's how I got both of these, was using this Windows Spy tool. So I'm going to close this, now I'm going to run it, and you're going to watch. These two things are going to disappear here. Uh, now, it, it kind of does some stuff, and I think that when show, maybe that's, that uh, it's hiding it from the taskbar, but then they didn't want it to be gone entirely, right? So they're still here. Thankfully, I have other monitors, right? And I would just move them out of the way. And that way, when I'm recording my actual video, all you see is studio or whatever it is I want it to be, right? So this is a cool little script. Auto Hotkey is amazing. Uh, it's great, fun, and can be very helpful. Um, I'll probably turn this into an actual program and, and you know give it away to people like me that are making Udemy courses uh, because... It's nice having, you know, the software that's doing the recording not visible just to, not, it's not that I mind people knowing it. I just don't want to get distracted. So it's a great way to, um, you know, to do that. And if you have programs you always want to keep running, but you don't want it in your taskbar, hey, this would be a great approach.
All right. Hope that helps. Cheers.